Dillian, I'm here. I'm here for the trials. Like when we first met, remember? I am actually streaming it to YouTube just kind of as a test uh, to see what the connection can do while I'm going through a VPN. Uh, if you'd like to see just a snippet of what it's like, kind of game is it? Disguises herself Single player game. To join a band of I know that, but like, and soon, what kind um, of game is it? That's pretty hard to the describe. Where the father is buried. PT. Her men do not want to go ashore. They say that Why evil haunts that? the island and that it is a worse too. place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds, oh, and all of them have ghostly flames clouds. burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. The flames I passed through were real enough. Damn the north into hell. Well now. Well now. I can't watch and play games at the same time. I can hear him. Honor. Within the burial mound, Herver calls on her father to wake from death and bring her his sword. She says that it is not seemly for the dead in their grave mounds to bear valuable weapons. Her father answers with words of warning. You go to your doom. Baleful runes surround you. You have gone mad. You have lost your mind. Your thoughts are confused. It is dangerous to wake the dead. Like I said, she reminds me of you. plays around a lot with like binaural audio, so uh, it's really fucking immersive. Awesome. It's not him. It's not him. We told you. We told you it was a trick. Doesn't sound like Dillian. 
What's happening? It's not him, it can't be. What's that sound? The voice is changing. What? <gasps> That's not Dillian. That doesn't sound like Dillian. It sounds like something more dangerous. Something is here. Something is in the labyrinth. <laughs> something evil. Herver ignores her father's warnings. The grave mound opens, and it seems to be full of fire. Again, Herver demands her inheritance, but her father warns her that the sword is cursed and would be the bane of her family. But he relents and brings her the sword. She leaves the island with it, but the curse holds true, and death would follow in the years to come. And so, Senua, the misdeeds of a father have cursed his daughter. Voices that he's hearing are they supposed to be like? Um, they don't ex exactly explain that. Uh, I think it's just kind of her, but like, there's actually like a warning. Like you know how some games have a anti or like a um, epilepsy warning. This game has a psychosis warning. Psychosis. Yeah, like. Uh, that is. Um, how to describe that? Um, it's like, um, sorry, I'm also just trying to listen. Okay, do your thing. But yeah, basically she's trying to journey to hell. But like it's all like Norse like mythology. Mm -hmm. Wait, sorry. She's trying to get into hell or kind of. Right? Yeah. Quiet. He wants me to find him. I'm lost without him. I have concerns. That voice. No. It's not Dillion. Different. 
<laughs> Where are we? She has no idea. We're going round us. You have fallen in. You think that sound is Dillian's voice? It's the same. runs out. I wonder about it till it gets dark. And then what will you do? Will you save yourself? There's nothing you can do. Nothing you can do. What are you downloading? Warships? Is that a new Warships player I hear? Down it. What? Is that a new Warships player I hear? A new Warships? Is your girlfriend I'm downloading Warships? a new warships? Warship player. Were you talking to your girlfriend? No. Uh oh. No. Girlfriend what? isn't here, remember? Oh, right. Well, you just randomly said, are you downloading warships? So I assumed you were having a conversation with somebody. Why are you downloading warships? Uh -oh. I just transferred all the files into the, the thing, and it's like downloading still. I'm really confused. Is it actually using my network, I guess? That's what I really should check. Yep, it's actually downloading the game, despite the files being there. It could be, like, doing... Like, I, I, my, mine did that, too, uh, of the dozens of times I've done it. Uh, it would do, it like, a download a little bit, and then just quick shunt the rest of it. I don't know. Whatever, if it wants to install the whole game, fuck it. You can do it at 30 megabytes a second. Never mind, you can't do it at 30 megabytes. I need some of that bandwidth. Ignores her father's warnings. 
the grave mound opens, and it seems to be full of fire. Again, Herver demands her inheritance, but her father warns her that the sword is cursed and would be the bane of her family. But he relents and brings her the sword. She leaves the island with it, but the curse holds true, and death would follow in the years to come. And so, Senua, the misdeeds of a father. User joined your channel. Hello. Hey all. Hello, user. Oh, I love game wargaming game center. <laughs> I love it so much. The wolf. I moved all the files and now it's just re-downloading the whole game in the same location. Even though the files are there. And if that wasn't annoying enough. Yeah, I limited it to 25 megabytes per second, or yeah, megabytes per second, and it just continues to download at 30. It's like, nah, fuck your limit. I'm just gonna download when I want. That sounds about right. Oh, like I'm trying to play a game while it does this, and it's like, no, 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 no. You don't get to play anything else. If I limited to 10, will it actually stop? Have you tried the check file option? Oh my God, Wolf is so loud for me right now. Like in the in the war gaming launcher, Wolf. I think you're clipping a little bit too. Like I'm hearing like a static crackle on your end. Oh. Huh. Yeah, yeah, I it hear. Is it. it is. I did check and repair. Like right back to downloading. Sounds okay when I test that. Is it? Yeah, I can I can hear uh like a static line like a buzzing. Buzzing, huh? Yeah. I hear it too. Interesting. It's very faint. Too bad you know how I set off. Said I set off the alarm. Yeah. My landlord just texted me. Mm. Hey, is everything all right? I saw the alarm went off. I'm like, yeah, I'm an idiot, and I forgot to turn it off before I Whoa. step inside. I guess I could, I could play around with my uh, my lights a bit on my PC, probably. Yeah, and then it's like, oh, oh, nope, now it's stuck again. It just snapped to like, it went from like 10 to 26 percent. Now it's downloading something else. Oh, fuck yeah. Squad just got a DLC. Oh, a while ago. Like, two months ago. Uh -huh. For the Canadian Armed Forces. Now we can play as Canada. Uh, hold on, cutscene. Sound muted. microphone muted. I'm leaving. Decided. I think it will be good for me.
It's the darkness. It's speaking through. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy? The chief no. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Come, child. Take my hand. Come. No! I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! Microphone activated. Damn, this game is trippy. It's not going to be easy. Can you do another one? It's too much. Have you got the energy? She hasn't got the energy. No. Too much to do. I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him, only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Stay here. I like the way it feels. It's safe here. 
bridge. It's not broken. It's fixed. What happened? The bridge is fixed. Let's cross it. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father User of Hela, joined your channel. mistress of death, Welcome back. is not used. I think it's my laptop charger interference, honestly. Yeah, it does kind of sound electrical. Also, like it's less now because I shoved it farther away on my desk. But what's weird is that just it's never done that before that I you can think of. Is it less now for you, Dupont? Because it doesn't sound any different to me. He's it's no, it doesn't sound any different. It's just it sounds like what he said it was. He's still crazy loud. Like I, I have to have him way down in order to even hear a cue. I just checked in Audacity and I'm like the input levels just perfect when I'm talking like this. So could be cue unless I'll just boost cue up, I guess. Your audio sounds are fast. Unless, yeah, it seems to be it's decided it's just going to be... Well, it's just too quiet, because when he joined, he could barely hear me. And then, now you're too loud, so I don't know what happened there for him, but... Like, I haven't changed nothing. anything on my mix. So, yeah, it's just Windows. Yeah. <laughs> you know, whatever. Windows is just like, what if I just change this? Will he change it back, or will didn't, he leave it? Didn't you have that triple one day, like, I was super quiet for you? Yeah, yeah, it was so fucking weird. It's like I came in here and you're like, "You're too quiet." Let's that's, that's both join uh, on Buzzkill Discord and let's see if it's the same. Hello. Microphone Sound muted. muted. Hello. 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 Is that any different? Uh, Wolf is louder than Q. Which is the same thing you had in Team yes. Speak, right? Yes. Strange. Ah, weird. I actually have Wolf <laughs> reduced quite in Discord too. I have him at 75% and I have Q at 100. The funny part is I have auto gain on, on Discord. I don't and know. Here, I'll turn it on on TeamSpeak too, just, just because. I've got you down at 50% here now. I'm gonna switch back. Alright, I have auto gain on now. Oh, that sounds much closer to Q's. Yeah, yeah, you just went down in volume a lot. Yeah, so whatever Windows was sending to uh, TeamSpeak, TeamSpeak thinks it's a little too loud. I mean, it is. I, I, I kind of think it is, but like, you guys were having trouble with that. It was way too quiet a while back, so I kept turning it up and up and up, and like, that's where well, it was that was now. when you are using your other mic though, right? No, the same setup. Oh. Yeah, oh, that was Windows clock. Speaking of which, I still haven't solved the issue of my key not working, or my uh, activating Windows, because the program that you gave me yesterday didn't seem to do anything. So did you just you just downloaded the like from Microsoft the installer and installed it off of that? Yeah, yeah. Well, I what I did on my last PC downloaded the installer. Installed it on the USB key and then just reinstalled on this system, but it's like new motherboard, new license. What, um, so when you ask for a license when you install, you just hit skip, right? Yeah. Weird, it should work, because that's what I did when it worked. If you change your motherboard, you don't get it. You don't get to transfer it. I mean, it depends on the type of license, but it's. Well, to be fair, I have had this license since I built my PC. Time, so five 
Yeah. Yeah, that stranger didn't work out. Just decided yeah. it. And like the errors it was originally giving me were just like something went wrong. There's um. What if I go and try? Maybe if I try it again, it'll be like, yeah, it works. I doubt it, but. So, auto gain is off right now. If I turn it on, I assume I get quieter. I okay, noticed yeah. it a little quieter there. I think when you just switched. Yeah, that out. wasn't that wasn't a big thing. Okay, so because I, I should be pretty damn close. Now, now you're now you're quiet. It figures because it's like takes forever to do anything. So let's see. I can. Let me make sure you're back at both at the same level. Set me a set me a default because I'm gonna turn gain off, and then tell me if that's too loud or too quiet. It's definitely louder. Like, what is that? Does that sound too loud, too quiet, or is it? Uh, you sound like twice the volume of Q, and I got you both at the same amount. But as far as like. No, not the DQ, like, um, as far as... It's, I don't know, like, I've got, so I've got TeamSpeak at zero, like, or, or, like, level across the board, everything. You're personally at level within TeamSpeak as well. I have a game at 50%, and I, you overpower the game quite a bit. But then what if I put the game at 100%, the game that I'm playing at 100% volume, default, uh, I can't hear Q at all. Right. But like, what if I start turning this down? Like, how's this? Is this that different? Yeah, that sounds more... I mean, Q has to speak before I can really tell. <coughs> mic check, test two. Testing one, two. Mic check, mic check. Part, part of it could just be the Q's a little on the quiet side, too. Yeah. It does sound a tad I mean, I can... quiet to me, so, yeah. Um, you make I'm sure no one's turned up, up either on my end. I, I hate how the, the global thing, the global volume for TeamSpeak, I can never get it to go back to zero. It's stuck at point plus, like plus point five or minus point five. I cannot get it back to zero. Arrow keys? Uh, it it jumps it too far, or like it it like jumps <laughs> it and it doesn't like it doesn't tell you what it's at, which is really annoying. So I, it, if I yeah if I select it and I use the arrow keys, it's moving side to side, but I don't know where it is. But then if I click to find oh. out, it moves the bar. <laughs> So let's see, if I'm looking, I got an Audacity monitor right now, I'm like negative 12 when I'm just talking like this, which is about what it should be. I mean... Yeah, you sound fine now. That's, uh... No, you actually sound perfect. Like, I like it. I, I did bring it down a little bit. I mean, um, it was a little high. But... If Q brought himself up just a tad, then it probably would... You want I don't me know. to bring myself up? I can. So Q, if you want a, an easy way to, like, make sure we're at the same volume, just go download Aud Audacity. Yeah. And you can monitor, and it, it shows, like, a an actual meter. Mm-hmm. Like, for you and two quad being the same volume, or me and you? For your own mic. I guess. I mean, I, mean, like, it's, it's... I just don't really touch the knobs on my my mixer. But then you'd, you'd be able to, you'd be able to get it set just right, and then yeah, he, he, he's just saying if you use that software, it'll show you what your mic output actually is to your system. Yeah, there'd be no more like guessing if we can hear you if it's TeamSpeak or what. Like you'd know for sure that your mic volume is set to what it should be. So I, you still I will hear do the buzzing. Same, actually, yeah, I, I can yeah. hear it now a little. Does it change now? It's it's harder now that you're quiet because when you were like overpoweringly loud, I could definitely hear it very easily. Here, let me turn my uh, amp up just a little bit. Say something. Fasting. Yeah, it's still there a bit. Because if I unplug my laptop charger, the audio meter literally drops about six decibels. <laughs> Is it unplugged now? Nope, it's plugged in now. I'm gonna unplug it now. Now, say keep so saying. That's unplugged. Nope, it's it's not your charger. It's not your charger. It's still there. It's weird because it definitely shows a difference in the the audio, like the whatever you call it, 